This thing is like a lightsaber. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and today we are taking a look at another brand new flashlight from the company Through Night. You may have seen me already open this in a mail time video last weekend so if you want to check that out I'll leave a link to it right up there. I got some other pretty cool things in that mail time video so check it out. So the last light that I looked at from this company was an 11,000 lumen flashlight. That video surprisingly did very very well. It has like 150,000 views. I didn't think that many people were interested in flashlights but hey, a lot of you guys clicked on it, so thank you for checking that video out. Now we're looking at another one. Might not be as powerful, but it is pretty damn cool. So this is the Through Night Catapult V6. Before we get into the light though, let's check out what else is in this box. Got a manual with all the specs and instructions. A little baggie that has an extra button seal, two O-rings, a little lanyard ring. The lanyard, which I already put on the light because I have carried this outside once before. And then a little replaceable USB door flap because this thing is water resistant. It also comes with a convenient little pouch type of thing. You can put this on a belt or whatever, just like the other light, as well as a micro USB cable because this light is rechargeable. Now let's look at the light and talk about that name for a second, the Through Night Catapult V6. What do catapults do or trebuchets? What do they do? They throw things. So this light throws light. I've never owned a thrower type of light in the past, so this is my first experience with one. Never really had a use for one, but now that I have it, I can think of a couple different applications that this thing would be really really good in. So let me open this thing up so you guys can check out the massive battery in it. This is of course a through night branded battery 5,000 milliamp hours at 3.7 volts. Like I said, this thing is rechargeable, so once you have the light together, you really don't have to remove the battery for anything. On the side here is a little USB door, a little flap there. You just throw this thing on a charger whenever it's getting low, and then you don't have to buy batteries like you do with some other lights. If you keep this door sealed correctly, it should be IPX8 rated, meaning that you can put it in up to two meters of water. I might have to test that out later once I go outside because it looks like it is raining a little bit. Now, unlike the last through night flashlight that I tested, this one does not have their infinity mode, which was kind of nice. Instead, this just has a couple standard modes like they all have. You press and hold to get into moonlight mode. This gives you half a lumen and it will run for a long time. And then the three regular modes, you press it once and that will put you into low mode. This is about 22 lumens. Again, this will run for a pretty long time. Press and hold the button for a second and it will bump up to medium mode, which is about 180 lumens. Press and hold the button again and that will bump up to 900 lumens, very bright. That's about as bright as you need it to go. However, there is a turbo mode. When the light is in the off position, you just double tap and that will take you into turbo mode, which is 1700 lumens. And then if I double tap again, that will put you into strobe mode. People don't like when I flash the camera with this, but that's strobe mode if you need it for any reason. This light also has a memory function, so between low, medium, and high, whatever mode you are in when you turn the light off, when you turn it back on, it will remain in that mode. So here I'm in low mode, I'll bump it up to high, turn the light off, turn it back on, and I'm back on high where I left it. When you turn the light on, you will also see a little blue indicator light right here giving you the power level. It's definitely hard to see right now, but I will show you guys that a little bit later. It's just like the other light that I showed you by them. Now this next spec is listed on pretty much every light that you buy, however I never really mention it because it doesn't mean a whole lot to me, however since this is a thrower light, the distance of this thing obviously matters. This light has a max distance of 750 meters which is close to half a mile, so this thing will be throwing that beam pretty much as far as you can see. That is obviously what this light is used for, so the spill light around there is not really that great. You're not gonna be picking this light up to dig around your house underneath the couch or anything like that. It's obviously a purpose-built light and we are going to check out how it actually functions in a little bit. The light is a little deceptive on their Amazon page. The way it looks in pictures, at least to me, makes it look like it's a big, almost mag light type of light. Obviously, you can tell that it's a lot smaller than that. I wouldn't say it's pocketable, however, when I was carrying it around the other night, I did put it in my pocket. I also put the lanyard on here, which is a nice little addition. It's branded with through night. And although the light is small, it does still feel pretty good in my hands. I obviously have pretty large hands. It has some nice texturing around the body of the light, almost like an elegant type of feel to it. Doesn't really have much of a strike bezel, just a pretty standard bezel around the front. A smooth reflector, which gives it that throw, and then a tiny little LED down on the inside there. Right now you can pick this light up on Amazon for $75, and before I can actually recommend this thing, let's go outside once it gets dark and see what this thing can actually do. 
All right, we are way out here in basically the center of the Everglades right now, just parked alongside of the highway. It's not completely pitch black yet, but as you can see towards the east, it's getting pretty damn dark. I have the camera set to basically give you the best impression of what it looks like to the naked eye out here right now, so I'm gonna try to make this as realistic as I can. Here is the light. I'll first put it in Firefly mode so you can actually kind of see that now. I'm not exactly sure what you would use this mode for because as you can see, you can barely even see it on the ground at my feet. Now we are in low mode. There is the blue light, the on light that you can see now. Bullfrogs are making noises. If I shine it out into this grassy area here, you're not gonna be able to see it very far, but then again, this is on the low mode. I'd say it gets out about, maybe about 30 yards until you end up losing it in the tall grass. But over here are some pillars of a bridge that they're constructing. This first pillar in front of me here is about 10 yards away, not very far. And then the second row there, which you can't really see on low mode, is probably about 40. Back to 10 yards, I'll bump it up to the medium mode. As you can see, much, much brighter. There isn't much spill though, it's basically just a hot spot which throws the light the distance that this thing can reach. Now moving out to about 40 yards, you can start to see those poles out there and even the ones beyond it, probably at about 50 or 60. Now I'll bump the light up to the high mode. And as you can see, it floods a little bit more, so you can definitely see the two pillars in front of me. But if you look way out in the distance, you can see poles almost 100, 150 yards away from me. I know the camera can't pick it up very well. However, this thing really gets the light out there for such a small, pocketable size light. Out into the grass again, you can see this reaches much, much further now. And now if I really wanna bump it up, I'll give it a double tap up to the turbo mode, 1700 lumens, and I'd say this is going about, I'd say about 300 yards, it's lighting up another tree line. Again, the camera probably can't really pick that up, but if I shine it on something closer, like these poles here, super, super bright light. I can shine this on any pole, pretty much as far as I can see right now. I think that's about enough of being out here in the Everglades. I'm starting to get bit up, so I'll talk to you guys once I get back to the apartment. All right guys, we're back and that is pretty much it for this review of the Thru-Night Catapult V6. As you can see, or maybe can't really see because it's kind of hard to film what flashlights actually look like in real life, this thing throws a light and it does it pretty well for its size. Granted, there are other bigger thrower lights out there like the Catapult V5 before this. That thing is about this big, but this is a nice, almost pocketable size. I would say usable distance. It was good for maybe 200, 250 yards. It can definitely throw light out further than that. However, I think for a usable distance, it's better for up close and personal. I think this would be a really good light to keep in the car with you, especially when I'm living back home in Pennsylvania. If you're into hunting at all, you'll know a lot about spotting and this is basically like a handheld spotting light that you can just have with you at the ready at all times. Because it's USB rechargeable, you could even recharge it in your car while you're driving. So I think this thing will probably end up living in either my STI or my Crosstrek. If you guys have any questions on this light, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. And if you are new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week and that's gonna be all for today. So as always, Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.